first couple to step up to the plate. It's Robin and Dwina Gibb. Robin has been married to his wife, Dwina, an artist and writer, for 23 years. They live in a 10th century house. They're both vegetarians and like to meditate together. Welcome, Love welcome. How oh, lovely to see you. To see you. Good now, yeah. before we find out uh, uh, about you, let's have a look at what you said about yourselves. Oh, We've been together since 1980. She was an artist and she did a series of drawings for me and that's how it started. I was never really looking for a traditional wife in the sense of a homemade marriage. I wanted somebody that was like a soulmate. I think it was fate that I met Robin. He was born on the same day, which is amazing, you know, and I also believe in reincarnation. So, so I definitely believe that um, I've known Robin before and I will know him again. Carrie. My lifestyle is not a typical show business, glamorous lifestyle. I'm a very sort of creature of habit. He's had the same breakfast for 25 years, for goodness sake. Five shredded wheat and a tea with three tea bags. Relationships do help songwriters in their work. I don't know what I would have done if, if, if she hadn't been there. And all the songs I wrote in this house and Chain Reaction and, and Heartbreak have all really been, you know, in, in this relationship. I think he's humorous, he's creative and he's special. We've got great respect for each other's space and uh, creative spirits, and I think that really counts in a relationship. Brace yourselves. It's not gone with the wind, but you know. Thank you both so much for being here. Well and thank you for letting us into your gorgeous home as well. That was wonderful. Dwina, we know that you believe in fate, and, and there's this, this strange coincidence that when you were about 14, you yes. were watching television and you saw Robin, and yes. what did you say? The Bee Gees were on the Lulu show, I think it was, and I'd just come home from school. It was and one I was of our first TV shows yes. in Britain. Yes, yeah. and um, my sister asked me, if you could marry one of them, which one would you marry? And I sort of looked at them, and I saw Morris um, was just behind my you. My twin brother, yeah. Yes, and, but he jumped as if Morris had pinched his bum, and I thought, well... <laughs> I'd marry him because he's got a I good like sense that. of humour. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it yeah. amazing that you remember that moment and then you met and you are married? Well, I completely forgot all about it. My sister reminded me of it after we got married. <laughs> right, let's see how you do this evening because it is time to play All Star, Mr. Mm -hmm. and Mrs. Let's move the booze. The rules are a piece of cake. Oh, Both good. partners will be asked to Steady the on. same questions and all they have to do is to match the answers. It's simplicity itself. Right, which of you is going in the booth tonight? She okay. is. <laughs> on you go, Dwina. <laughs> in you go. <laughs> Just hop on the headphones and the blindfold. And as soon as Dwina can neither hear or see anything, we can get going. OK. We're going to ask Robin three questions and then we will bring Dwina back out of the booth and ask her the same <clears> three <throat> questions. And to win the game, all they need to do is say the same. So, first question, Robin. Dwina said in the film that you are a creature of habits and you're quite particular about what you eat. Right. So much so that you've had the same breakfast for the past 25 years. How many shredded wheats a morning? Five. The big full-size ones, not the minis? Five. Big, full-size sugar wheat. So yeah, both of them could only do three. <laughs> well, I've eaten them. We ah. salute you, sir. I didn't do <laughs> so, okay. so you should. <laughs> 25 years of shredded wheat, but if you could only eat one of the following list of foods that I'm going to give you for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Would it be cheese on toast? Cheese. Would it be shredded wheat? Or would it be macaroons? I would say probably, um, in my case, probably cheese on toast. We understand that if you haven't eaten proper supper, after that slot when you would have supper, you have to only eat cheese and toast. Yes, that's right. So after really, nine o'clock. If yeah. you miss your supper, you get to nine o'clock, then that's, then that's, then that's, I, that's it. That's it, then I will eat cheese on yeah, toast. Is, that's yeah. cheese on toast time. That, that would be cheese on toast okay. time. <laughs> what time of day is a macaroon acceptable? Any town. 
any time of day. But when does your stomach say, I really need a macaroon? As soon as I, if I, if I haven't eaten and I wake up, sort of like four or five in the morning, macaroons. Uh-huh. And do you pad down to the kitchen and get them? Yes. <gasps> I do. Do you? Yes. You don't do drink you? Dwina? I, uh, uh, sometimes I go, I go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my idea of going down to the kitchen is getting somebody to bring them up. <laughs> Which of these foods could you eat for the rest of your life, then? Would it be cheese on toast, shredded wheat or macaroons? Um, I would say cheese on toast. Cheese on toast, cheese on lovely. Toast. Right, then. Question two. You own a number of statues. In fact, we've got a couple of, uh, couple of pictures here. There you go. There's you right. with... Uh, a giant hair, and I think that's a big raven, the one on the right yeah, side. Yeah, that's right. They're beautiful statues. If you were to turn a, a, a big chunk of marble into a statue of Dwina, where would you mount it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's would a it be... That's a leading question. No, let me help you with it. Okay. Would it be... It's a family the... show. <laughs> would it be in the entrance hall? That's not normally where things are mounted, or where things are well. Well, your house. Yes. In the bedroom, in the refectory, or do you think she might say when I ask her this question, uh, another room, that you'd have picked another room? Um, it's got to be one of those answers. Yes. I will say the refectory. You're going to say, she's going to say the refectory. Yeah. What's a refectory? The refectory is where they used to uh, educate the young monks in the 1500s. OK. Right. Question three, Robin. Of all the clothes you wear, which will Dwina say makes you look the sexiest? Hmm. I, 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 we've never had this uh, discussion. Um, because Has she ever she said never you look sexy to in there? She, well, she never wants to... She doesn't talk openly about what, what, I, what I look sexy in because she doesn't like to sort of pay compliments to me, but... Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to say uh, she likes suits. Suits? Yes. You're sexiest in a suit. Yes. Lovely. OK, well done. very good. Thank well, you very are. much. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get her out and see what she's got to say. Dwina, you can come out now. Round of applause for Dwina, I think. <laughs> did terribly. <laughs> so Robin has given us his answers, and to win the game, Dwina needs to say the same. Question one, Dwina. As you know, Robin is a creature of habit, and you've yes. told us that he likes to have the same breakfast, and he has done for the last 25 yes. years, five big shredded wheats. Yes. However, if there was only one food that he had to eat for the rest of his life, which would he choose? Would it be cheese on toast? Would it be shredded wheat? Or would it be macaroons? Macaroons. <gasps> oh. He said cheese on toast. Oh, he didn't. Just tell us. <laughs> I did. He eats macarons all the time. Well, only at certain times. But cheese, <laughs> if it was something that I had to eat all the time, it's not that wasn't a match. Here we go. Let's see if you can match this one. OK. You and Robin, we had a look at some of the statues that, uh, yes. that you've got uh, around the house. But if Robin were to turn a, a chunk of marble into a statue of you, where would he mount it? <laughs> In the entrance hall, in the bedroom, in the refectory. Oh, my goodness. Where would he a, put it? A statue of me? Mm. Probably in the refectory. Yes! yes! Well done. That's one of his favourite rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Third and final room. question. Dwina, of all the clothes Robin wears, which do you think makes him look the sexiest? Sexiest? Oh, my goodness. Well, I like him in suits. Yes! yes! Well, done. <laughs> wow. well done, you. At the end of that round, you've got two matches out of a possible three, and they will be back to play in the his and hers round a little bit later in the show. Okay. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, Robin and Dwina! Yes!